we, so, uh, we got a lot of questions on drying. Yeah. Uh, configuration of the racking, capacity of the racking. Uh, what could you tell us uh, on the uh, on the sure. drying side of it? You know, the, just like anything, with no different than cultivation, there's really no like silver bullet. Everyone's got a different style or method to doing things, and I think that Pips actually put together a really nice uh, kind of portfolio of products depending on what your style is. So, as an example, uh, some people are like whole plant drying. Okay. Um, and so we've got some hooking options for them. They can all be adjusted in height depending on the size of the crop. It's another challenge with the cannabis plant is that they're never uniform. You know, it's not like a Monsanto tomato. Uh, they're very uh, yeah, they're very unique. And so building that flexibility uh, in a lot of cases, very light tool work or even no tools to be able to adjust the height of something or the width of the racks as well. So as we kind of look at this one, we can turn that knob and we can slide. Yep. Um, so if we had a wider plant, we could go with a, more of a width there. And if we had a lower density, we could tighten them up together. I'm a big fan of the hooks that just kind of stand as it is. So if we were to look at it, this is not a cannabis plant. Oh, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's a great example. So um, as you were to go to hang a plant, you know, a lot of people will end up having to use hooks or zip ties, zip ties, and these are just extra yes. steps. And a lot of these groups will have to do, you know, a thousand or two thousand of these in a day. And the drying and moisture content can change quite a bit from the first part of the batch of the morning in the last batch. And you're trying to get as much of this done as fast as possible. So anytime you can eliminate steps, that's a really good thing. So Pip here on the adjustable, let's say I just harvested this, you would use the plant as the hook, right? Okay. And that's the idea. You're not having to weave it into anything, but you just put it on here and you go. How many do you think we could fit on these fingers? It just depends on the size of the plant and what the, in an ideal situation, which is not everybody's situation. I really like the two, but if you had to go for three for any reason, it's totally doable. And the other thing is, is 80% of the moisture of this plant is really gonna be lost in the first like 72 hours. So where it seems really packed dense, even on four. So you're like, oh, that's a lot. But in, but in, they gonna reduce but in 72 hours, 80% of the moisture is gonna be lost from the plant. And plants are just like us, they're mostly water. And so this, which looks bulky today, would shrink down significantly. It would look more like, you know, something like this. Um, but I like the flexibility, the easy to clean. Option two, right? So yeah, fingers option one. Option two is the hang bar. Uh, some people we talked that they might be using like a hooking mechanism, right? Yeah. And so, so would that be considered for different plants, different size of plants, or is it just the technique that is? That I think is it's preferred. preference, right? Yeah. And what I always encourage operators to do is I'm like, get out the stopwatch and time it. Okay. How long does this take? And how long does this take? And how long does that take? And how? And how many touches are you going to touch it? So what I love about the fingers is it's like it's one less touch. You know, when you get into hooking, now we have a hook. Now we have a dirty hook. Now we have a hook that needs to be cleaned. Now we have this other component. It's all about right? maximizing operations. Exactly, and I mean, that's what the, the foundation or bedrock of PIP is maximization. The other option is uh, very much on the space maximization side. So uh, this is a common thing that we see with like the hemp farmers. They'll take a piece of trellis because it's quite cheap and they have it, and they'll string it from the ceiling. And they'll hang in each one of those little grid squares, they'll hang the plants or hook the plants. This one for me, the pros, you can fit a ton of biomass. Um, where if we kind of look here, you know, there may be uh, some air gaps and things like that, which isn't a bad thing from an even homogenous drying. If I knew my product was maybe going to extraction, yep. and that I wasn't looking for like top shelf trim flower, this could be a really viable option to maximize space where simply there was more cultivation than drying space. And that's a very common problem in the industry. I think most people would prefer this, but a lot of people will probably get forced into more of a higher density option, potentially.